Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about two common attacks on the network switch: MAC flooding attack and MAC spoofing attack. To understand the MAC flooding attack, it's essential to grasp three key concepts: the definition of a MAC address table, the functioning of a MAC address table, and the MAC flooding. A MAC address table is also known as CAM table, Content Addressable Memory Table. It's a database that stores the association between the MAC addresses and its corresponding network interfaces on a switch. A switch will automatically learn MAC addresses. And fill the MAC address table by looking at the source or MAC address of the incoming frames. When a switch receives a frame from a device, it reads the source MAC address of frame and adds an entry to its MAC table, MAC address table. This entry includes the source MAC address and the interface. Let me demonstrate how it works. Here we have several computers connected to a switch. Let's assume it's a brand new local area network. Computer A is sending a frame to a computer B. As the switch is reading computer A's frame, it learns the source MAC address and adds a new entry to the table. Computer's A MAC address and its interface. The switch needs to send the frame to the destination. It looks up the destination MAC address in its MAC address table. When the switch finds the entry, it will forward the frame to the destination. If the switch doesn't find the entry, Which is the case in this example, it will send the frame to all interfaces except the one it was received on. MAC flooding occurs. MAC flooding is a normal routine for a switch. It happens all the time. In this example, the switch does not have any entry for computer B in its MAC address table. Thus, MAC flooding would occur. Other devices, such as Computer C in this example, ignore the flooding frame. Computer B recognizes it and replies, and the switch reads Computer B's frame and adds a new entry for Computer B in the MAC address table. Computer B's MAC address. With its corresponding interface, since there are entries for both computer A and computer B in the MAC address table, they can talk back and forth with the help of the switch. Another important feature of a MAC address table is dynamic. It is updated as a computer joins or leaves the network. The existing entry would expire when it's idle for a certain time. This allows a switch to efficiently forward frames to their intended destinations. This dynamic feature leads to a problem: the MAC flooding attack. MAC flooding attack is a malicious technique that exploits the vulnerability of MAC flooding and a dynamic MAC address table. In this type of attack, an attacker floods the switch with a large number of fake MAC addresses in short time, causing the switch to fill the MAC table with fake MAC addresses. 
This condition causes switch feel open and forces the switch to enter a state where it forwards traffic to all interfaces. The switch will then attempt to forward these phrases to their intended destinations, but because the MAC addresses are fake, it will not be able to do so. Instead, the switch will flood the network, which can cause a variety of problems. For example, it can cause the network to slow down or even crash entirely as it becomes overwhelmed by the flooding. To make things worse, when a legitimate device wants to communicate, the MAC table is already full because it was filled with all fake MAC addresses. The switch has to broadcast any traffic to the whole network. Once the attacker gains access to all the traffic, they can carry out various types of attacks, such as eavesdropping, man-in-the-middle attack, or network stiffing attacks to steal sensitive information. In summary, MAC flooding is a networking technology that can be used for legitimate pur purposes, while the MAC flooding attack is a denial-of-service attack used to overwhelm a network switch with a large number of fake MAC addresses, causing the switch to become congested and stop forwarding data. It's essential to understand the difference between the two to protect your network from attacks and secure your sensitive information. Port security is a network security feature that is used to restrict unauthorized access to a network by controlling physical access to network devices. It is implemented by configuring switches to limit the number of devices that can be connected to a specific physical port as well as by specifying which devices are allowed to connect network through that port. Port security is especially useful in environments where there are large number of users and devices, such as in enterprise networks or public Wi-Fi hotspots. Other security measures, such as authentication and encryption can also be used in conjunction with port security to further enhance network security. MAC spoofing attack. MAC spoofing attack is also known as MAC impersonation attack. In MAC spoofing, the attackers change the MAC address of their device to match the MAC address of legitimate device on the network, which allows the attacker to hide his identity, bypass security measures, for example, access control list or segmentation based on MAC addresses, gain unauthorized access to the network, or launch man-in-the-middle attacks. Max spoofing attack leads to stealing sensitive information or carrying out other malicious activities. It's important to note the Max spoofing is generally not effective across different network segments or subnets, as the switches and the routers are typically configured to forward traffic based on the destination MAC address and would not forward traffic to a device with a MAC address that does not belong to the same segment or subnet. I hope this video is helpful. Please support my channel by becoming a member at patreon.com.
Thank you very much, and see you next time.